Hey, y'all. So I want to say thank you to Tati. Shout out to you, girl. Thank you for getting me this deck. Um, if you guys would like to, uh, you know, get me a deck or anything like that, you can click the link in my bio and you could go to my Amazon wish list. Okay. Thank you very much, girl. So I'm excited to use it. So let's see what does the collective need to receive right now. Let's see. I made sure to shuffle them real good. Let me shuffle them again a little bit more. And look at the gold trim. Oh my God, I'm just in love, y'all. Y'all don't understand my deck addiction. I just love decks. <laughs> All right, let's see. So we're gonna see what kind of message comes out. If it's a general message or a love message, we're gonna just go with it and see what comes out. All right. All right, spirit. Okay, we have here Ace of Cups. We have the Two of Cups. And we have the Three of Cups. Bottom of the deck, we have the Nine of Wands. Okay, so somebody... All right, definitely this is like a love message, okay? Somebody is is having like a new beginning in love. All right, I see here celebration, going out, turning up together. Um, and this is also celebrations as in, you know, it could lead to something much more. And with this card at the bottom of the deck, the nine of wands is definitely giving the vibe like you, oh yeah, you see 10 of wands, nine of wands. Like it was a burden. Like it was an ongoing battle to get to this. You know what I'm saying? It was a, it was a problem, you know, to get to this, uh, to this outcome here, this three of cups energy, you know, this, uh, connection here, this partnership. Okay. So let's see what else. Why was it a burden, Spirit? Talk to me about this Ten of Wands right here. Why we have a Ten of Wands? Why was it such a burden? Why was it such a burden? Eight of Cups. You had to walk away from a situation. All right. That had you feeling stuck with the hangman here. All right, with the, uh, yeah, you have to end the situation with the death card. And then we have here with the high priestess. It was something that somebody could have been having a lot of secrets, you know. Somebody could have been keeping things from you. All right. Uh, you could have probably not been listening to your intuition. Okay. Like maybe you didn't, you didn't want to believe it. You didn't want to accept it. All right. But I see now, you know, like you had to end it with the death card. Okay. Um, and yeah, with the hangman, like you could have been feeling stuck in the situation. All right. Tell me why, why they was feeling stuck. Cause the eight of cups is talking about, you know, you had to walk away, but you felt stuck. Like, you know, let's see. We have here a 10 of swords. There was some type of, uh, betrayal here. So I don't know if somebody felt, yeah, we have the devil card. Wow. <laughs> Okay, so somebody, even though there was a betrayal here, they felt, look, this person probably was doing black magic on them, all right? Like, binding them together. Because, you know, this person felt stuck, all right? This could be you that I'm talking to directly, or maybe you, you know, you, your person. Maybe your person what, that you're going to come into this connection with now was binded to somebody who was betraying them. You know, like, behind the scenes, they was doing all this black magic and shit like that. You know, binding them to this devil energy. To them, you know, maybe using sex magic, some type of lustful energy here. Um, this person could have been very, very possessive, very obsessive, very jealous, very everything. You know what I'm saying? So this person had them there feeling stuck, basically. All right. So now with this uh, two of cups, ace of cups, three of cups, like definitely there's a reunion here. Yeah, and then the Six of Wands, you know, like it's giving me like uh, this time around, this is going to be something successful. Tell me more. All right, but you will be victorious this time around. Maybe you guys tried to do it last time, you know, and um, maybe it's like wrong, you know, perfect person, but wrong timing. Right, right person, bad timing. All right, I feel like now is, is, now is the right timing. Maybe this person with this devil card, they was, you know, they had to complete a cycle with a karmic here. Tell me more. Yeah, we have here the tower. Definitely. Um, there was definitely, yeah, this person with this king of swords energy, this person. Yeah, and there could have been a family situation here too. 
Okay, and this person was feeling like, you know, they had to defend themselves. They had to protect themselves because this person was betraying them. So the King of Swords is like this person, they had to uh, be in this energy of like head over heart. You know, they couldn't let their heart keep on playing with them no more. You know, this family situation, there could have been children involved. All right, this person had to make a move. All right, so the tower, it was definitely something that was unexpected here. You know, this person wasn't expecting this to go down. Okay. So, let's see. Yeah, and then again, the Page of Cups. It could have been, it could have been because somebody, you know, maybe there was a, a, a kid here that was holding this person back. All right, so let's keep going. All right, so now you guys are having a reconciliation. All right, the Tower is bringing in unexpected change for the karmic yo you cannot make this up you guys are gonna have a reconciliation wow six of cups yes this person from your past like again it was right person wrong timing you guys are gonna have a reconciliation all right this is literally talking about that all right about you two getting back together okay so let me see what else so yeah you guys are gonna have this <laughs> i don't even know what to say like yeah you guys are gonna have this reconciliation all right, what else? This is connecting to the first message that uh that I did today about love. I guess Spirit wants the collective to receive that. Because it's coming out here just more in depth, you know. Okay, so we have here the judgment card and we have the world card. Yeah, so this ending is going to bring in a new beginning when it comes to y'all with this uh, Ace of Wands here. All right, he's coming towards you, the Queen of Wands. He sees you as somebody who's very uh, attractive. You're standing in your power, and he want to come through and match that energy. You cannot make this up. And with the Six of Pentacles, yeah, this person want to come through. King of Wands, right? King of Wands, Queen of Wands. It's a match, okay? And this person wants to give you his wand. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? The passion. You know that like this person wants to come through. They want to kick it with you. They want to give you their time, their energy. <clears throat> for some of y'all their money for some of y'all a bag or two okay like <laughs> but this person want to come through like you know like you know that's not the goal it's not to get anything from this person but this person want to come share with you all right that's what this is for it's, it's talking about sharing you know equal give and take okay so bottom of the deck we have the four of swords i feel like this person uh, it's trying to spend some time alone right now, you know, relaxing, uh, walking when they walked away from the situation they, they needed to spend time cleansing, you know, they need to spend time healing, uh, as they should. Nobody should jump from one connection to the other. So this person right now could be spending time, you know, working on themselves or even at the spa, you know, they're just trying to get themselves together, you know, uh, and get cute for you. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? They ready. They about to jump on their little, what is that? A moped, motorcycle, dirt bike, whatever the fuck they got. They're going to jump on that shit and they come ho they're going to come holler at you. All right? Because you are in this energy of the nine of pentacles. You are single. You are independent. All right? You don't need a, a dude for nothing. All right? You could be seeing birds because that little bird right there is getting my attention. You could be seeing blue jays. Okay? So, yeah. This person sees you as independent. You know? Like, you got it going on. You don't need nobody for nothing. You're doing your thing and he want to come towards you. All right? Yup, this person feels like you are wish fulfillment with this nine of cups. They want to come towards you with this offer. Yup, this person's trying to manifest you back into their life. I'm telling you, wrong timing, perfect person. And now we got here the opportunity. So this person's going to take advantage because they see you as the queen of cups. You know, they see you as somebody who's very intuitive, very kind, very nurturing, you know, very spiritual, uh, very understanding, you know. And this person wants to get all up in your water. You know what I'm saying? Like he want to know more about you. Okay, what else? He want to get all up in your water. Okay, and <laughs> somebody's having sleep is nice about this. Yeah, because with the four cups... Somebody feel like they could have missed an opportunity here. Yeah, and, and that could be Karmisha. Yeah, look at this. Karmisha. Kar oh, Karmisha is watching. Oh, my God, y'all. Look at her like this. Like She's like, oh, what the fuck? He's moving on to somebody else? Really? Really? Look, she's watching you. The Page of Swords is some type of stalking. She could be doing readings. She could be doing readings on you, on him. Um, or she could be stalking you on social media or stalking him. And she's like, how dare he move on? How dare he? <laughs> 
Yeah, look, like, body right there at the water, fucking stressed out, you know what I'm saying? Five of Cups, you know, having regret, feeling like, damn, like, you know, like, why did this happen to me? Again, dinosaur, sleepless night, stressed out, you know, because she missed an opportunity with homie, okay? And it is what it is. It was not meant to happen anyways, all right? It was not meant to happen, all right? Because she, with this Four of Pentacles, she feel like she missed an opportunity with the four of cups. She feel like she missed an opportunity with this guy. You know, like, I feel like she wanted to be able to hold on to his pentacles, you know, to his money. Yeah, she wanted to work with this dude. She wanted to collaborate to get, to have a hold of his money, his finances, his stability. All right? For some of y'all, he got a business or businesses, and she wanted that. Yeah, you cannot make this up. Eight of pentacles. Talking about work-related. And again, pentacles is money. So that's all she wants. She just wanted the money from this person. So yeah, it wasn't meant to be. Yup, she wanted to get pregnant <laughs> and keep him on deck so that he can continue to provide stability for her. Nah, and God was like, nope, that's not going to work here. We're not doing that, all right? Not doing that. All right, so anything else, Spirit? Then we're going to close this out. Okay, what's this? We have, uh, we have the star, and we have here the uh, two of pentacles. Okay. Yeah, this person, they want to reach out to you. I feel like they could be stuck right now. Like, I want to communicate with her. I want to text her. I want to call her or something like that. You are the star. So, again, there's a lot of people watching you. You could have, like, a like a platform. But if you don't, it, it doesn't matter. It's just you are in the star energy. You could be an Aquarius. All right? But this person, um, I feel like they're contemplating. Should I call her? Should I not call her? Should I call her? Should I not? Because they want to communicate with you. Okay. Maybe they think that you're gonna, you know, you, you're not open to this because maybe, you know, wrong timing. Maybe there wasn't, you know, like how we saw here, a karmic cycle. So maybe they're scared that you, you know, that you're not open to this, but I feel like you are open to this. All right. You're gonna give this person a chance to see what, you know, what they gotta say. Because, you know, I feel like you, because you know what's up. You know, you're watching the readings, you know what's going on. So you know why this person, you know, had to do whatever they did. All right, yeah, exactly, because of a karmic. Justice in the reverse, yes, that's why. This person had to go through that karmic cycle, all right? Had to, okay, before this person was able to come to you with any type of commitment, all right? God was not going to al allow this person to do that, and I was going to say align. So, yeah, this person needed to align with you on your vibration, okay? And God was not going to allow this person to do that yet, okay, before, um, you know, this karmic cycle was completed. So, yeah, now I see here with this chariot, there's going to be forward movement here. And, yeah, this person is now in the emperor energy. So, definitely check out the, the message that I posted before this because it's talking about a divine masculine going through a karmic cycle and, you know, and surviving. And now he's going to come towards you. So, okay, so you could be dealing with an Aries. You could be dealing with a Cancer, a Gemini, Taurus. Libra, we got a whole bunch of signs here, so you know, don't don't get too caught up with the signs, but just know that this person is coming towards you, all right. And this is your emperor, all right. They're coming. <laughs> okay, so that's the message. I hope I was able to help y'all. Peace.